Welcome to Arlita, a hidden gem nestled in the heart of the San Fernando Valley. Did you know that Arlita has its root in agriculture? Back in the day, this area was all about citrus groves and ranch style homes. In the late 19th century, Arlita was merely a rural expanse. Its fertile soil tended by hardworking farmers and ranchers. Families worked the land, raising crops and livestock. Their livelihoods intertwined with the rhythms of nature. Talk about some old school charm. After World War II, Arlita saw a boom in residential development. Ranch style homes started popping up left and right, turning Arlita into the cozy suburb we know and love today. Arlita is all about the family friendly vibe. With its quiet residential streets and parks like Brantford Community Park, it's perfect place to settle down and raise a family. For my fellow foodies, tantalize your taste buds because Arlita's food spots are on point. With restaurants dishing up everything from Asian cuisine like Vim's restaurant and Wong's kitchen to Latin American classics like Ay Papa Que Rico, La Casa de la Torta Ahogada, and Laura's restaurants. Other notable spots you must try include Churro Hub, Classic Donuts, Semitas Catrachas, Los Siete Mares, El Papaturo, La Michoacana. Trust me, you won't leave hungry. Looking to pamper yourself? Arlita's got plenty of spots for that too. Whether you're in need of a fresh haircut at Beauty Clips or Showroom Beauty Salon, or need to get your nails did at Vivid Nails Beauty Bar, or a full-blown makeover at Slay Boutique, you'll find it all here. If you watched this far, make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next Valley Neighborhood video. Fellas and ladies, listen up. Dead and Cuts is a place to be for all your grooming needs. Sit back, relax, and let the pros work their magic. Keep your ride riding sharp when you're in Arlita. Stop by Lance's Automotive. They got you covered. These guys know their stuff when it comes to automotive services. When it comes to shopping, Arlita's got you covered. From small businesses to retail stores like Faith Auto Parts, Maymax, Power Dollar, WSS Shoes, and New Star. There's something for everyone here. Arlita even had its moment in the Hollywood spotlight. Remember hitting 88 miles per hour with Marty and Doc Brown? Well, the McFly home from Back in the Future was filmed right here in Arlita. Have you heard the buzz about the East San Fernando Valley light rail project? It's the latest game changer in town planned by LA Metro. Picture this, a sleek light rail train zipping through the valley, connecting neighborhoods from the Metro Orange Line down to the Silmar San Fernando Metrolink station. There will be 14 stations Stations spanning 9.2 miles connecting Van Nuys, Panorama City, Arlita, and Pacoima, and all the way to the Silmar San Fernando Metrolink station. Now, how does the real estate market look in Arlita? Well, in February 2024, the median sales price for a single family residence soared to $765,000, making an impressive 4.8 increase from the previous month. With just about a month of inventory available, it's safe to say that demand is sky high in our beloved neighborhood. And get this, homes are flying off the market with a median of just 14 days on the market before they're snatched up by eager buyers. Plus, homes are selling at a whopping of almost 103% of their list price. Arlita is hotter than ever in the real estate market game. If you're looking to buy your first home, second home, or investment property, I hope host a one-on-one -on -one workshop every weeknight via call or Zoom. The link is in my bio or in the description. And next time you find yourself in the neighborhood, be sure to soak up all the sights and flavors and friendly vibes this place has to offer. Trust me, you won't be disappointed.